Hey my friends, this is Torch here bringing you another tutorial. This time I'm in Ableton and I'm going to answer the question, how can I get music and click track in my headphone monitoring, but only music going out to the main outs or the PA system? Uh, let's say I'm at a live gig or something and I wanna hear my click track and I wanna hear my music but I obviously I don't want people in the audience to hear the click track. How do I do that? How do I configure that? That's what I'm here to answer today. So here I have a very basic uh, session set up here in Ableton for demonstration purposes. Um, so here we go, let me explain what's going on. So I just have kind of like a backing track. Also I have the click track here engaged. So if I play these together right now, then you'll hear both the backing track and the click track, and it sounds like this. Okay, so that's great if you're producing or mixing or whatever, but if you're in a live performance, we don't want that. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is direct your attention over to the master channel here, and just take a look at your master outs. So in your master out, you have all of your music, everything that you would have in this session, everything is coming out of outputs one and two. But if you look here at Q out, you also have that going through outputs one and two as well. And that Q out is actually where your click track resides. Okay, so, so we need to change this output. We need to have the Q out being a separate output than the master. So that's the first step. So click this. I'm gonna switch it to outputs three and four. So in theory, that should solve the problem, right? Okay, let's see if that actually did the trick. Okay, so as you can hear, no, it didn't solve the problem. We still have music and we also have click track and we need to still work this out, right? So that's because we've only done half of the equation. We've only done the routing that we need to do through Ableton. The other half of the equation is we need to go into our interface settings and we need to configure it a little bit. And I'm using Focusrite Control. This is because I use the Focusrite Scarlet 18i20 interface. This is the control center for that, Focus Control. Okay, so I'm gonna direct your attention here to our monitor outputs one and two, and this being selected is showing me what my hardware inputs are and what my software playback inputs are. Basically, this is just what I'm getting from Ableton. So as you can see, from Ableton, I'm getting track, i.e. music or whatever else is coming out of it. Uh, also, I have a cue or a click. So uh, the thing you will, you'll notice is that the faders are both turned up, which is why we are hearing both the music and the click, even when I had switched my outputs. So you need to turn the click down. Okay, so now that I have the click turned down in my monitor outputs, my main outs settings, I can now go back into Ableton, and if I press play, I should only hear the music without click track. Here's what that sounds like. Okay, so we have successfully removed the click from our main outs. The audience is not gonna hear the click. The next issue that I'm actually facing though is that I can't hear any click track in my headphones. So I need to change that. I'm gonna go back into my focus right control and I need to find my headphone outputs. So I'm gonna actually scroll down here and I'm listening through line outputs nine and 10, which I have named headphone two. So this is what I'm actually hearing in my headphones. So you can see there's SM57, there's a guitar, that's, those are the hardware inputs that I have in there. And then down here, where I have my Ableton inputs, I have track, i.e. the music. And then over here, I have cue and click. But 
if you look at the fader, this is turned all the way down. So in this configuration, I can hear the music just fine, but I can't hear any click. So what do I need to do? I need to turn this up. And the quick way to do this in focus control is you can just double click and that snaps to, um, to where it needs to go, right? So if this is all the way down, double click, it shoots right up to where it needs to go. So now in my headphones, I will be hearing track and click track in addition to whatever else I have um, that I'm sending to focus control. All right, so now that is the setup. You now have click track in your headphones, music, and if you go up to your main outputs, you now have music and no click track. There you go, setup complete. So if you found this tutorial helpful and you like to see more stuff like it or you have any suggestions for what you wanna see from me, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, obviously, I'd love for you to like and subscribe if you found this information useful and it helped you in your gigs or whatever. Um, please do that because it'll help the channel. And for now, that's it for me. This is your friend, this is Torch, signing off. Peace. <laughs>